You ever wonder why Ark Raiders doesn't feel like other shooters? Of course, we have the tension, we have the atmosphere, we have the loot loop, but it's something deeper, something behind the scenes. The bots, they do everything your standard bots that are coded would do. Chase you, when they see you, they shoot. But these bots, these arcs rather, do something even deeper. They learn you, and that's not hyperbole. The devs actually implemented machine learning into the AI system. So Arc Raiders isn't playing fair. It's playing you. It's playing us. This video isn't about hype or marketing. Well, of course it is going to be naturally, but it's about a system most players don't even realize is shaping how they play and how they feel. Arc Raiders is tapping into the same psychological triggers that keep people hooked on roguelikes and survival games, but it's doing it in a way that feels natural because the game world is literally evolving with you. Today, we're breaking down how Arc Raiders implements machine learning, how that makes it so effective, and how this tech is shaping what might be the most dangerously immersive shooter design we've seen in years. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the reasons why everyone is so addicted to the game. Some are saying they're in withdrawal, literally. People who haven't even played the game are saying they're in withdrawal. It's crazy, but let's get straight into it. And I have to be honest, the AI is good, really good. We're not talking about NPCs who flank better or hear your footsteps louder. We're talking about adaptive intelligence, systems trained through machine learning, models rather than coded scripts, systems that update their behaviors based on aggregate player data, emergent combat trends, and survival strategies. Now, they've been working on this for years. Why do you think they delay the game. It's not just because they wanted to scrap the whole PVE only formula. That was part of it, but that wasn't the grand vision. This footage that you see of this robot learning how to walk, the queen's archetype, was three years ago. And I think that's actually when they delayed it. Correct me if I'm wrong. According to Embark Studios statements and research publications, the team is actively exploring machine learning to power enemy behavior in Arc Raiders. In a blog post by Magnus Norden, Chief Exploration Officer at Embark Studios, he outlines how their research is focused on training machines using reward-based systems and predictive tools to bring game characters to life. He said, at Embark, we're researching ways to allow game developers to tap into their true creativity from training machines with rewards to making game characters come alive to giving creators predictive context tools. I'll link this article in the description below, but that philosophy is the foundation of this video. Because once you understand what that means mechanically, it explains why this game feels so different. Most AI systems and shooters are pre-baked. They walk paths, they follow triggers. The illusion of intelligence is just a series of checks and responses, but in Arc Raiders, Enemy bots, the arcs, aren't simply reacting to you. They're accumulating data, rebalancing patterns, and modifying priorities. Live, you stay stationary behind cover too long. Next time, that drone won't hesitate to flush you out. You take the high ground every match. Then the bots start deploying from vertical angles. If you solo with stealth builds, watch how the patrols start to double up and isolate you. This isn't only smart coding. It's a feedback loop. You shape the threat, the threat reshapes you. And that tension, the push and pull, that constant uncertainty is what keeps people from walking away. So let's talk psychology. Addiction in gaming isn't only about fun, it's about variability, uncertainty, and control. The brain releases dopamine when it anticipates something, not only when it receives it. That's why slot machines work. That's why roguelites work. Arc Raiders taps directly into that through AI unpredictability. Every encounter becomes a mini experiment. Will that drone flank left like last time? Will the Arc Patrol shift paths now that I've gone loud three times in a row? Or did I teach this machine to counter me without even realizing it? You start thinking about patterns, then second guessing those patterns. The game rewards you for adapting and punishes you for relying on routines. That's where addiction forms. You're trying to outthink something that's evolving. Embark Studios could have faked this easily. Most developers use AI as a buzzword, but what they really mean is conditional scripting. What Embark did instead was design modular intent driven behavior trees and train them with iterative feedback. That's what machine learning actually means in this context. Instead of coding if X do Y, they gave bots goals like eliminate, suppress, 
surround and let them figure out how to achieve those based on the player's behavior over time. Here's how one developer explained it. The magic comes from the collision. Human creativity versus machine logic. We wanted the world to feel like it pushes back, but not in a way that's artificial. Let the players grow. Let the robots grow. That's where the gameplay breathes. This quote explains the core loop. You grow, the world grows, and because that growth feels earned, it doesn't feel punishing. It feels fair, immersive, and engaging. In a time where artificial intelligence is becoming embedded in everything from customer service to military applications, chat GPT, Arc Raiders presents a gamified reflection of that reality. You, the player, are still human, still unpredictable, still fallible, but the machines, they don't sleep, they don't forget, and they don't stop learning. This tension between human intuition and machine adaptability is what makes Arc Raiders stand out and what gives it a weird, persistent grip on humans' attention. It's why we're addicted. This isn't sci-fi anymore, it's simulated psychology, and you're in the middle of it. So the real question is, are you addicted to Arc Raiders because of the loot, or is it because the world feels alive enough to keep pulling you back in? Let me know in the comments if you've noticed the bots evolving, or if you think it's all just good design and not real machine learning at work. I'll be responding to thoughts and theories down there, and I cannot wait to talk about this. If you enjoyed this conversation, and if it was insightful to you in any way, I'd appreciate a like on the video, and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I'd love to have you. That'll do it for this one. I'll see you on Speranza. Be right out.